Hi, I'm Steve Pod. We're here at the Rap Studio at the Sundance Film Festival with the team behind Run, Sweetheart, Run. Director Shauna Festa in the middle, Ella Belinska, Pilo Aspek. Welcome Thank all, you. and congratulations on on the film. Um, Shauna, I'll start with this is basically every woman's horror movie set on the streets of Los Angeles, right? I mean, uh, it was certainly my <laughs> horror movie, yes. Um, it was based on a bad date that I went on, you know, when I was going to UCLA. I went on this horrible date with this guy that, like, looked perfect on paper, and I was so excited for it. I was wearing my, like, perfect little black dress, and the date went wrong very fast, and I literally, without a purse, shoes, cell phone, just ran home from Hollywood Hills to West Los Angeles. So I I think every woman could relate to something like that because every woman has their own real-life horror film to tell. But not every woman then turns it into a movie. That's true. But, yeah, this is my cathartic moment where I actually can be kind of a superhero. I get to be Ella in my own and change the narrative, which I think ultimately is really healing for me. So how did did you come to decide to to write it and, and direct it? Well, I think um, I was. I, this is very different. I don't work in genre really, but I've always wanted to. Um, but it just never came my way. So I knew if I wanted to do it, I would have to write it and say that this is definitely a movie that I'm going to make and write. Um, and Jason Blum allowed me to do that. Um, I think Jason Blum was giving women chances in genre before it was cool to give women chances in genre. So I knew when I wrote this, and I wrote it out of a really angry place, because I have a daughter, and I didn't want my daughter to go through some of the things that I went through living in Los Angeles. So I took it to Jason first, and he greenlit it immediately. Ella, what what appealed to you about it? I mean, did it hit home for you? Yeah, well, um, when I first read the script, I read it in... Actually, do you even know this? I read it yeah. I read it in... I was on a project. I read it in the makeup chair. Oh, so really? I, I literally, <laughs> in one sitting, flew through it. Um, and I just the story as a, you know, as a narrative, as a journey, is just so fast-paced and thrilling. Um, and then when we actually, you know, Skyped for the first time and we had our first little session together... Shana mentioned how, you know, she'd written it essentially for her daughter. And before she'd even finished saying that, I was like, I would want my sisters to read this. I was like, I would want this story to be out there for my sisters. Um, And then that, and in the fact that it's, again, like really fast paced, really, um, it's all about sort of power play and and it's a smart film. It's, It's not, there's no choices by the you know by Cherie for the, the sake of the genre there's nothing that's like in there to oh we've got to mm-hmm. she's got to make this decision otherwise it's not going to be a horror movie like she's intelligent she's smart she does things that like even I as a as a, as a human being I was like yeah that makes so much <laughs> sense like that's what you Go do Cherie yeah, yeah. so um, I think that definitely really appealed and then also this wonderful actor as well just w- helped bring it all to life really yeah, so. well, Pilo, is it f- is it flattering to be <laughs> asked to play somebody who looks like he's Mr. Perfect and turns out to be a horrible person? Yeah, I think uh, I think I don't know what you guys call it in America, but in Europe we call it typecasting. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I'm kidding! I'm kidding! I'm kidding! I- especially if you've seen the film, you would know that I was kidding. Um, for me, it was just the uh, the instant chemistry I had with John in the first meeting we had on Skype, and just just. How amazing is Skype? You know, I know, right? I wouldn't have a cast if not for <laughs> Skype. So. It's, it's, and I, I read the script, and I've never, honestly, ever read a script that is so disturbing and sometimes so beautiful and weird and strange, and yet so... It's, it's, it's a film you have to see to understand it. Honestly, that's how I feel. Uh, and then the rest is history because I loved it. I love the little team. <laughs> yeah, it, we had a great fun, but it, it, with casting Pilou, it was the ultimate challenge because I had to, I had to, ha- you had to fall in love with him. Like you had to be rooting for Cherie to be like, okay, this is the guy you're going to marry, Cherie. Like we almost sell this movie as a romance in yeah, the first yeah. 15 minutes of the movie. We talked a lot about Hugh Grant in the early yeah. stages yeah. and Richard Gere and what it meant like to be a real Where like leading. I know. Was I didn't know. <laughs> These were our little secrets. And then he really turns into like the ultimate antagonist, terrifying. 
So, I mean, I don't think there's many actors that can do such like a turn that he does in this film.